guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through my antique booth, Green Onion Vintage, which is located at my treasure house in Edwardsville, Illinois. It is the middle of December already, and I thought it'd be a great time to take you guys through my booth once again so you could see how everything is looking, see what pieces have sold. And I actually have it on my schedule to do a sales update for the month of November because we did have quite a bit of sales and I know sometimes you guys like to hear everything that's sold. Um, so you're definitely gonna notice some things missing in this video that you saw in my last antique booth tour. Um, this was taped on, I think, December 15th, I wanna say, and it's a couple days later now that I'm editing it and I already see a few things that have sold. December's been a really good month for us which is exciting because it's really never been the same ever since COVID. I know this retail in general has been off. So it's felt really good to have what feels like a more normal month for our booth. Um, I'm not gonna do too many prices today just cause I wanted to make this more of a look through of my booth and let you guys maybe listen to some music. But I did wanna let you guys know, I have an idea and I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments. Um, we have been shipping more often and the shop owner, her name is Cindy, she's been very um, happy and willing to ship smaller items to my YouTube audience. And she's also shipping Iron Orchid Designs. So if you are looking for a vendor to order from online, you can get in contact with Cindy. I will give you her Facebook information down in the description box if you guys have not connected yet. I know a lot of you guys have been ordering from her and she's been really happy to have you guys. So that's been working out really well. But I feel like there's not a really easy way for me to get my antique smalls to you guys. There's just so many things in my booth and it's been hard to figure out how to share with you the prices of everything and especially like the shipping costs. So I have this idea that every time I do an antique booth tour, instead of saying like, hey, message me or message Cindy if you'd like to order something to be shipped to you, it might be uh, a little bit more fun and then also easy to do if I pick out like five to 10 items for that particular video and those maybe 10 items would be the items for sale for my YouTube audience and I could give you you know dimensions for each item just more detailed information the price and then it wouldn't be quite so over overwhelming for us to figure out all the details of every single item in my booth if that makes sense um, so let me know if you think that would be a good idea down in the comments. Um, I, I don't know if I'm explaining that well. So I feel like for every booth tour, it might be fun to pick out like the items that are for sale for that tour. And that's not to say that if you see something else in the background that you're not allowed to ask about it, if that can be shipped to you. But just to have some featured items for me to focus on every time I do a tour for you guys. And those items would be things that are easier to ship and wouldn't cost a ton of money to ship as well because I don't know if you've noticed but shipping has really gone up in price. So that's an idea I have and I'm not going to do that for this video but I do think in January that would be something that I would like to try and see how that goes. Um, so just let me know down in thoughts any thoughts that you have about that down in the comments below. My mom just brought in this pie safe that you're looking at right now. Um, jelly cabinet I should say and it's one of the most primitive ones that we've had. It's really really beautiful. Um, we just sold that angel today and there's another little look at the pie cabinet. Look at the patina on that. So pretty. I still have this wash stand here. I do believe I have 110 on that. Uh, Mom brought in that really great green cake pan. I don't know if you just saw that, but it's so cool. This wash stand, I cannot believe it's still here. And honestly, it's probably going to come home with me soon. I really love it. And the more I look at it, the more I love it, especially the hardware. There's also this amazing rolling pin my mom has in here. Um, and I think that's $18. That one is such a cool one. And we have this high boy here. I think my mom just marked it down, but it's in the $300 range. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have a booth on both sides of the aisle right here. And we also have another location at Third Street Market in Greenville, Illinois. And I know um, we've sent quite a few customers that way to that store. Um, and that's more of an antique store, whereas the store that you're looking at right now 
is a mixture of antiques and furniture and wholesale items, um, newer items, and it's a little bit more of like a boutique with a lot of antiques mixed in. So um, our other antique store is Truly Antiques. I would say this one has a mixture of all the good things, all the home decor. So here's the other side of my booth and my mom is right by my baby there. You can't actually see her, but I don't know how anybody survived these old fashioned high chairs because they do not have the safety features that our modern high chairs have, but he looked super cute sitting in there. So that's Miles. He just turned eight months old, if you can believe it. So here is the other side of our booth. That red chalkboard might come home with me soon if it doesn't get snatched because I have the perfect spot for it. Kind of want to revamp um, this accent wall that's right off of my living room, which would be a really fun video to make with you guys. Um, and that chalkboard would look great there. I still have this little dresser for 190. Now I'm just gonna take you through the rest of the booth real quick. So for today's video, if you are interested in purchasing anything you see here, just let me know down in the comments. I'll get you a price and I will set you up with Cindy to set up the shipping for that if that is something you want to move forward with. Um, otherwise, we will plan for January to start doing those featured items for each video and see how that works out. I really appreciate you guys watching today and I hope that you guys are gearing up for Christmas. We are so ready in our house, especially with three little boys. We're all very excited. I appreciate you watching today and I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.